Kuzongpula and welcome to another episode of Face to Face. I'm Tenzin, your host. Today I'm joined by Yang Chin, a yoga instructor who's here to talk about her experience and knowledge about yoga. So let's begin talking about the benefits of yoga first. So tell us about what are the benefits from practicing yoga. Uh, first of all, thank you very much mm -hmm. for having me here. Um, so if I tell if I tell few benefits of yoga. Uh, there are actually hundreds and thousands of benefits of yoga. So um, I would say like first begin with uh, yoga, obviously it improves the flexibility, mm -hmm. the physical flexibility as well as your mental flexibility. Mm -hmm. I would say that uh, second of all, it uh, balances our uh, body, mind and spirit in general. And it also, uh, you know, uh, clears our minds. Uh, it also clears our body internally and externally as well. As you practice uh, yoga, what it does is it brings uh, your focus, your mm -hmm. concentration all into yourself, right? So it makes us more aware person. It keeps us into present moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the few benefits uh, of practicing yoga. So because it only helps, it not only helps uh, lose its weight mm -hmm. or it all, not only helps improve the flexibility, but in general, it helps balance our ourself uh, okay. and mm -hmm. bring keep, keeps us into the present moment it does not really allow us to think um, or divert our minds mm -hmm. uh, um, to others you know while you're practicing it so uh, now that i know mm -hmm. that yoga has so many benefits mm -hmm. i think i have to practice doing yoga and mm -hmm. i have to like let my friends and family practice yoga as well no of because course, i got uh, so many benefits of course you can share i mean like whatever little mm -hmm. knowledge you have yoga you know it's it's not limited right if you know a little bit if you do certain stretches mm -hmm. or if you do like sudden head movement looking here there to the right up and down these are all yoga movements right okay. you can do mm -hmm. that sitting you can do that while standing you can do that while you know with the mm -hmm. family with your children or with your kids uh, with your partner this is the most uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, like I think interesting thing that you could uh, share okay. Okay. something so since when have you been practicing yoga so I've been practicing yoga uh, on and off I would mm -hmm. say that that's not probably the word I would I would like to use but on and off since 2015 mm -hmm. but I've like really been into my uh, discipline practice uh, okay. in 2020 mm -hmm. from 2020 and that's where I started teaching okay. As well from 2020. So after you got your training in mm -hmm. 2020, mm -hmm. you have started the opened studio, studio right? Studio as well. So, yes, start teaching. Okay. So what's your yoga philosophy? So my yoga philosophy is uh, mm -hmm. so yoga helps us connect our bodies, mm -hmm. our minds, and our spirits. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, I would say that that's mm -hmm. very simple, mm -hmm. and it's not very simple as we as we talk, but it's 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 broader terms there. We can even talk mm -hmm. uh, on days and days, but I would say that it really helps. Mm -hmm. uh, it connects our bodies, our minds, and spirits. So, uh, how many students do you have? I'm sure you have uh, pretty much um, a lot of students. Well, I've taught quite quite students uh, in past two years, mm -hmm. uh, and I would say that it depends, right? In some in 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 in. in like it's it's like it depends, mm -hmm. right? Uh, during certain times, there are, tend to be more students. Mm -hmm. uh, during certain times, there tend to be less students. It's okay. always that way. So, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer to teach uh, um, or instruct a small group, larger group, or one on one? Uh, uh, I would say that I prefer all, but mm -hmm. I feel like a teaching group class has always okay. uh, been very interesting and the mixture of all, both men and women, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, uh, people of all ages, all walks of life. Okay. If I could teach them all mm -hmm. together, I think that's quite interesting, interesting. as well mm -hmm. as challenging. So since you have started, uh, I mean, like you have started, mm -hmm. you have opened your studio in 2020, but yep. you have uh, been doing yoga, practicing yoga since 2015. So how mm -hmm. do you think yoga has changed your life? Uh, well, uh, uh, that's, you know, that's a really interesting question. I would say that, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it really, it, it really changed me as a person. Well, uh, you know, I was I was happy mm -hmm. uh, uh, who I was uh, or, or who I was before. But I think like yoga really, you know, uh, I would say that one thing if I choose uh, how yoga helped me is it made me more reflective person than mm -hmm. reactive person. Mm -hmm. So previously, I like many of uh, us, like many of us, like a normal human being, we tend to react to the situation mm -hmm. or to that person or to anything else so quick, right? Yeah, yeah. Without thinking or without even reflecting mm -hmm. but now with this yoga practice uh, uh, which I'm practicing off the mat mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say that that really you know like uh, whatever situation I face or whatever kind of people I met whoever I meet uh, like it really uh, you know whatever I speak or interact with them mm -hmm. 
first I kind of reflect and then I react. If that uh, uh, situation or people does not require my reaction, then I don't react at all. So basically yoga had really helped you calm down. I'd say well, that you right? balance, yeah. Mm -hmm. It okay. balanced, uh, okay. helped balance mm -hmm. my life. What has helped you improve your class since you have started teaching? Uh, well, uh, while teaching you mm. learn a lot right yeah. i would say like while teaching different types of students uh, uh both national mm -hmm. and international uh and you know i think that really helped me uh, helped me to improve my mm -hmm. the way of, the way i the way i teach the way i interact with them uh you know i think like that really uh, has improved uh, improved my improved, uh, improved me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So how would you react or how would you respond to your student who is injured but who still wants to learn yoga? Yeah, before, uh, if I have uh, an opportunity to interact with them uh, first before coming to my yoga class, mm -hmm. I always make sure that I tell them before practicing any, before doing any yoga practices, it's really important for them to first uh, mm -hmm. contact with their a physician mm -hmm. or doctor, mm -hmm. whether or not they can practice yoga. I mean, we all should do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if they approve, uh, if they say yes, mm -hmm. then they can come to my yoga yoga class and then like to give them modified yoga or if they are in group class, then mm -hmm. I can tell them to skip certain poses or not to do that. Yes. So now that we came to an end mm -hmm. of our conversation, do you have anything you wanted to uh, say to the viewers who are watching us right now uh well i would uh, really uh the, the the one thing i would really uh share with uh, people here is uh, uh, take this uh, uh yoga practice as a gift to yourself or to your loved one you know it's it not only take takes care of mm -hmm. your physical well-being but it it takes care of your overall well-being most importantly mental well-being as well so you know you can you can join your yoga class yourself or you can even give Gift it to your friends or your mm -hmm. families to join that yoga class uh, to change your lifestyle mm -hmm. and your mindset. So I think I am going to practice yoga from tomorrow yeah. itself <laughs> because <laughs> learning about yoga yeah. from you today mm -hmm. and gaining a lot of knowledge, especially the benefits. Mm -hmm. So I think I have to start off practicing yeah. yoga soon. <laughs> but definitely everyone can practice. I mm -hmm. mean, like yoga is for all ages, mm -hmm. right? Older, young, male or female, physical fit or not. You know, there's a different types of yoga. You can choose right yoga for you. like, And then I'll guide you mm -hmm. to help you choose the right yoga for you. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time today. I really had a wonderful chat with you. And to the viewers, thank you so much for watching us today. Please don't forget to like, share and follow our page. Stay healthy and I'll see you all next week.